Now let's locate the center of rotation when a tooth translates in space. In order to translate, the force system has to be a simple force applied at the center of resistance, which equivalent is equivalent, the center of resistance is equivalent to the center of mass. In conventional physics, but in orthodontics, because of the bone level and the bone resistance, the center resistance is slightly higher. So this center resistance needs now a simple force whose line, line of action, which I'm drawing right now, that's the line of action, this is the force, this is the line of action. So the center resistance, <coughs> when the line of action passes right through it with a force, will actually displace the tooth without any rotational. There is no moment of force, no force couple. The tooth will move along the line of action without any rotation, as shown in this drawing. So the two axes stay constant and the center rotation of rotation is at infinity as a, the two lines are totally parallel. So we review the center rotation at the center resistance when you have no translation. Now we look at the center rotation during a translation moment, uh, movement where the center rotation is now at infinity.